Hey guys, in this video, welcome to the second tutorial of uh, the Nexus 5 uh, root tutorial here. So this is the Google Nexus 5, of course, you can see that. And if I go here into the settings, and then about phone, and you can see that this is this is running the Android 5.0.1. Let me just lower down the brightness first, so you can see it clearly. So this is running the Android 5.0.1. Uh, Nexus 5 so uh, I'm going to show you how to root it now for uh, for uh, to root this device you need to download a software which is called as the Nexus root toolkit uh, version 1.9.9 and this is the software that you need to download the link will be in the description once you download it connect your Nexus 5 like normal make sure you have enabled uh, the USB debugging option on your uh, phone if you go here into the uh, a developer option then uh, you can uh, go here you can see that USB de debugging make sure this option has been picked now uh, connect your device and select your device of course it has already detected you can uh, do uh, auto detect device plus build or you can uh, select your device manually uh, uh, like every other Nexus, uh, Nexus devices you can select uh, so select your Nexus device or you can just uh, you know tell the software to auto detect your device um, and also uh, tell the software that you are running 5.1.1 just like that build now there will be an option here which is called as root now if you want to just root then untick this option now if you want to root plus install custom recovery uh, just click here now once you click here uh, this will going to you know uh, reboot your device into the bootloader menu and of course I think my device if I click OK, it will going to reboot my device into bootloader menu. It will going to uh, first, it will going to root my device, then it will going to install the latest version of the TWRP recovery, uh, which is compatible with the 5.0.1 Lollipop. Now you don't have to do anything; just follow the commands on the screen. It will going to do everything for you. You don't need to have to press multiple buttons. So I'm just going to show you that I am rooted, and this is working very well. So first, if I go here. Um, you can see that I have the super uh, super uh, SU installed. Now, if I open up uh, any root app like my backup, okay. Let's see if it's going to prompt for root access or not. I'm not sure it's going to prompt, but but I am rooted. I'm 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 sure that I'm rooted. Of course, I have test out some root apps so I am rooted you can see the super SU is installed and you can see that this is my root apps my backup of course uh, I have granted it uh, the uh, the access of course and then quick reboot is also the rooted app that I installed and uh, now this is uh, just uh, to show you that this is root and with root your device is working without any problem very fast now if I go here into that quick boot app like this I can reboot my device into recovery like this so I want to show you that I am running the TWRP recovery um, on my Nexus 5 you can see TW team win TWRP recovery there so um, you can see that this is the version 2.8.1.0 uh, it's showing the battery percentage and the CPU uh, temperature and all the kind of stuff so of course you can install you can wipe and do crazy stuff with this um, uh, TWRP recovery um, you can make a backup you can install custom ROMs and you, re you can restore from that backup so uh, you can download this um, this IMG file for this device for the Nexus 5 uh, this uh, recovery file of course you can install it manually using fast boot method but but don't mess with that this is a lot more easy just install it if you are using any custom ROM if you want to install a recovery this recovery on your device then uh, just uh, you know use the software it will going to do different stuff uh, to your device of course you can't really do it with a custom ROM of course if you want if you are running a custom ROM and you want to install the latest version of the 2.8.1.0 uh, this is uh, the TWRP recovery. You need to download it manually and then install it manually on a custom ROM. Of course, this is just for the 5.0.1. Uh, of course, you need to select your build. Then this will going to work. Of course, if you are running any carbon ROM or stuff like that, then you can't really install it. Just install it manually. Or that particular ROM already comes with any other recovery, so you don't need to install this TWRP. But this is for the 5.0.1. This is working. 
you can see that you can do all the crazy stuff uh, so just a quick little tutorial if you are facing any, any kind of problem any kind of questions are arising in your mind just comment down below I will answer that for you and uh, this is working very fine every uh, you know recovery action is working fine backup and all other stuff is working fine you know software no no some uh, no lag whatsoever so uh, definitely this is the best method to root and to install the recovery uh, uh, easily on your Nexus 5 with the Nexus Root uh, Toolkit 1.9.9 so uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video be sure to like this and then also be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next one peace out